How much does it cost to set up an Airbnb? In this video, I'll break down how much it costs to start an Airbnb business. And at the end, I'll also reveal how much time it takes to make back the initial investment. I'll break down the initial investment and also how long it will take for you to make this investment amount back. The first step of the process is setting up an LLC. Now it's not absolutely necessary, but it will protect your personal assets from your business assets in the case of lawsuits. The cost to set up an LLC will roughly be about $500 depending on where you are and where you get it done at. You can either go on a site like legalzoom.com or you can type in real estate lawyer your city on Google. The next step is conducting market research and finding profitable properties. AirDNA is my favorite market research tool and it's gonna give you access to all the rich market data you need for market research. Now the free version is enough for high level market research, but you need the paid version if you wanna deep dive in a particular market. It only costs a few hundred bucks depending on how many areas you buy. We also wanna negotiate as many freebies as possible. This can save you thousands of dollars of startup costs. When the landlord asks when you would like to move in, always say that you wanna move in anywhere from two to four weeks from the day you sign. This does a couple things. You won't have to pay rent until you actually move in. If you secured a property where the rent is $3,000 a month, that's $2,100 that you're saving if you don't move in immediately. This will also allow time for you to start ordering furniture and other things to arrive so you save on holding costs. And if you have good credit and a clean background and you can sense that the landlord is receptive to your offer, try and negotiate to pay less of a security deposit as well. Let them know that you're just reserving that budget to invest into their property to make it a better experience for your clients. More often than not, landlords will agree to do this as well. Now, depending on the area your property is in, your monthly rent will likely be around $2,500 per month. And the total of monthly costs, including rent, expenses like utilities, repair reserves, etc., will amount to about $3,000 a month. If you don't want your Airbnb business to turn into a full-time job, you absolutely need to build a team. My current team consists of a cleaner, a handyman, and a mover. The most important member of your team is your cleaner. Payment for cleaners varies a lot from my experience. Ask them what they charge for the configuration of your house, what your bedroom bathroom count is, and also your square footage. Now, I wouldn't haggle too much on price since the cleaning fee is charged to the guest. But what I would do is go through similar properties on Airbnb and see what they're charging and go from there. The second most important member of your team is your handyman. Handyman will be your go-to when repairs and maintenance items arise in your properties. A handyman will cost you anywhere from $40 to $50 an hour depending on the job, and it'll cost you about $500 to $600 to hire movers to assemble the furniture. Plus, it will cost you a few hundred bucks to hire a professional photographer. Don't skip out on this. This will be the difference in your property making $50,000 a year versus $80,000 per year. So in total, we need around $10,000 in order to set up an Airbnb. I'm gonna put on the screen the full breakdown behind using this $10,000 so you can have it in one place. Make sure to take a screenshot. Now, when it comes to Airbnb arbitrage, the compounding effect is incredibly powerful. And that's one of the main reasons I think most people should take advantage of this model. As we just seen, you don't need to fork out a bunch of upfront capital. You can also leverage credit lines to have additional capital, but I won't cover that topic in this video. Also, it's just an optional step. In the first month, you haven't invested any capital as you're searching for the property. So let's say you find a property in the second month. So in the second month, after you finish with setting up their property, your cash flow will be generally around $2,000 a month, depending on the area. From there, if the property generates $2,000 a month on average for five months straight, you'll make your initial investment back in the first six months. From there on out, it's all pure profit. After six months, you can use your initial investment to buy another property and then keep on repeating it. That's exactly what I'm currently doing. I was making about $6,000 a month in cash flow by December 2021. I doubled my cash flow in just three months with Airbnb investing from December 2021 to March of 2022. Now fast forward to today, I'm making around $20,000 a month from just three Airbnbs. As you can see, Airbnb arbitrage is a beginner-friendly model that can give you significant income without having to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars.